All right, again, we're back to the itinerary screen, top to bottom. There are three lines, the word itinerary, a bell, a question mark, and three dots. Going from left to right, the three lines, open up your main menu. As you see now, there are actual uh, events here. There's my name, occupation driver, U.S. country code 7623. Activities, if I touch activities, it'll bring it back to the list page. Employee, if I touch employee, it will be the time card information we first filled out when we punched in. Time card, when you press time card, here's your ability to put in breaks for later. You'll notice 1500 start shift, down to the bottom there's a blue circle with a plus sign. If I had to touch it, other work, this is for training purposes, timeouts, which is for breaks, and package sort. Let's explore timeouts. Timeouts is how you will put in your break time, up to one hour every day. Top to bottom, break type, break type is grayed out. If you touch break type, you will have two options, break and meal. Choose meal when choosing a break type, even if you are not eating. For whatever reason, when you choose break, if you select break, a message will pop up saying you have used all your break time. I do not know why this happens. So choose meal, hit OK. Start time. Down here, the start break button is now active. If I touch it, the time elapsed clock begins ticking. I will let that go for 10 seconds. Then I will choose end time. OK. End break. I will come back. There's your recorded break on your time card page. Now we can return. Back to the main menu, trips. That was our vehicle page. So far it is correct. We still have the bottom part blank because we're not ready to punch out. Messages, this will be messages from the center. The bell will have a number by it if there is messages assigned to you. And then punch out will be uh, for later in the activity and about is information about the phone.